These are the reasons why WizKid was extremely mad at David O yesterday. I did my research and I have concluded that David O took a lot of lucrative businesses, deals, away from WizKid. You know, yesterday WizKid was bragging about money. For the very first time, WizKid bragging about money, about making more money than David O about banging more deals than David O. And his fans, David O's fans, and everybody who are neutral were kind of like wondering, why is Whiskey boasting about money? What triggered Whiskey to be talking about him being the f a fly guy, has more money than David O, David O can never match him? You know, all those kind of uh, boasting, uh, money, long competition. And David O never, up to now, never has not responded to Whiskey. Because David O knows exactly why Whiskey is mad because of the deals. So, we are going to focus on two deals Puma and UBA. Whiskey was formerly a brand ambassador to Puma. You know, released some crazy uh, feats for Puma and uh, they made a lot of money. Then, Puma reached out to Whiskey and told him that, see, we want to renew your contract for the same amount. And Whiskey was like, nah, I'm too bigger than that. Come on, man, you have to give me more. I'm too bigger than that. You have to give me more. Then uh, Puma said, but... You are not that the biggest artist in Africa, and we have so many other people that we want to sign in. Whiskey said, no, you have to respect us, Africa. You have to respect our culture. You have to respect our influence. So pay me more. Pay me more because I believe I deserve more. I believe I want more. Pay me more. Puma said, okay, Whiskey, to hell with you. Whiskey to hell with you. The same contract, the same deal that Whiskey turned down, they brought it to David O, and David O took the deal. That was why Whiskey is, was referring to David O as cheap. That was why Whiskey made this comment. He said, and everything you guys got from this shit, I turned down. Don't let that go over your head. And everything David O got from that deal, whiskey turned down. So that's one of the reasons why whiskey was mad at David O because David O took the deal. Meanwhile, he didn't want the deal because he wanted more money. So yesterday, I don't know this guy, but I had is a tech engineer, Nelson. Let's listen to what he has to say. An artist of what caliber? Brother, you have not had a hit in four years. Four years you have not had a hit. You're tweeting at David, talking all this nonsense at David O. Dude's at Puma in New York City, unveiling his new collection. An artist of what caliber? What caliber? Bro, you're a junior brother to Ira Starr. You're a junior brother to Rema. You're a junior brother to Thames. Bro, the, like, dude, calm down. Get the hell off Twitter and go make some freaking music, okay? And if you want to get in tech, let me know and I'll set you up. In the meantime, get the hell off Twitter. Go make some freaking music and stop talking about money. People who talk about money don't have money, respectfully, right? Your mitts, burn a boy. David, they're not on Twitter tweeting, going back and forth, texting, hating on other artists, bro. They're at work. Bro, Puma is worth $6.1 billion. It's not that they couldn't afford to pay you, no. They wanted to pay you less because you're less of a relevant artist than David O. Get the hell out of here, bro. 
So that guy was uh, Nelson. Well, I really don't even know him that much. But then again, Whiskey ignored the deal. David O took the deal and is making so much money away from it. So I've said it before. David O owns no loyalty to Whiskey. And Whiskey owns no loyalty to David O. So they are both doing their individual businesses. So Whiskey should be mad that David O took the deal. Don't be mad at David O taking that deal. Even if they offer you less and then David O took even lesser. It's him, that is his business. That is how he runs business. Hmm? That, is want to do, that is how he wants to do business. Then when it comes to Puma, not able to afford whiskey. This guy said, Puma currently has Usain Bolt, Neymar, and Lewis Hamilton as their brand ambassador, but they cannot afford you. Then Whiskey said, no, Puma is a big brand, but the budget they had for Africa was it for me. Was cool for your client though. You idiot. I turned that Puma course, they could no longer afford to pay me because I wanted more. Don't need that. Way bigger than every artist you just mentioned. Not jealous. Love them all with your dirty ass shirt, idiot. That in talking to Nelson. And let's be honest, Whiskey clarified it. It wasn't about if Puma was able to pay him or not, or Puma do not have the money to pay him. But the money Puma was offering to him was just too small for an African artist. The budget that Puma had for Africans was just too small. And he needed more. It's not as if Puma couldn't pay. But Puma refused to pay. For their own personal reasons, they refused to pay. They refused to exceed the budget. And Whiskey backed up. But David O ran to took the deal. That is it, guys. That is one of the issues they are having. So don't get it twisted for those of you who say, Oh, Puma has Lewis Hamilton, Usain Bolt, and Neymar as brand ambassador. Who are you, Whiskey? It's not about who are you, Whiskey. Whiskey said, Puma is a big brand. Not disputing that. They have so much money. But the money they were willing to pay wasn't enough for him. So there are two different explanations. It wasn't because Puma couldn't pay, but they were offering less and he doesn't want it. So they offered it to David o and David o took it. So let's go to UBA. We do not know if Whiskey is still a UBA ambassador. That's what we do not know. If Whiskey is still a UBA ambassador. So I think we have to ask Tony Ulumelu to clarify that. Because recently, David Doe was flying in to another state to perform. Instead of uh, the alleged brand ambassador, Whiskey. So there are rumors that as soon as Whiskey tenure as brand ambassador expired, that UBA will not offer Whiskey another brand ambassador. That will UBA might decide to offer Whiskey the same amount they offered him before and they know Whiskey is going to turn it down. Whiskey will ask for more. So they're already preparing and making friends with the next person that is Davido to take the deal. So Whiskey's claim is that whatever the deal I rejected they always run to you to give it to you because you are cheap. That's what Whiskey is claiming. Anytime they bring a deal to me and I feel it's too small, I reject it. They run to you because you are cheap. And everything, everything about you screams cheap. That's a Whiskey hunger towards David O. Why do you keep accepting the deal that I reject. Why do you keep accepting the deals that I reject? 
So that is the main anger. That is the main anger because whiskey had a plan. If I reject this deal, nobody's going to take this deal. Or they take it to a lesser artist. And the lesser artist will take the deal. And this big, big brand wouldn't want to go for a lesser artist. They want to go for the big meat. So whiskey will be like, nobody will take it and they're going to come back. But David Doe is always there to take any deal. You know? Sharply. David Doe is always there to take any deal. As long as it benefits him, he's always available to take any deal. So Whiskey is not happy about it at all. Not happy. Not happy. Not happy about it at all. So now, you know, Whiskey is the most signed artist in Nigeria history. He has a lot of deals with Mattel, Puma, CIG Moto, UBA Gig, and the Pepsi, 1S Bet, Infinity Phone, Wema Bank, uh, Viva Plus, Travel Better, Pinic, so many other brands who have signed with uh, David O. But David, Whiskey has rejected so many as well because of the kind of money they were bringing. You know, my dad tells me, told me that, see, I don't know how it eats so in this kind of line of business, but I know one thing for sure. While others are selling a product, hmm? while others are selling a product, hmm? they want to gain about uh, close to 100% of that product, 100% return of that product. If you want to succeed as a businessman, stand out. Try to gain 50% of that product. Don't be greedy to start looking for 100% payout from that product. You will sell more. Maybe that is uh, the kind of uh, business strategy David is using. And meanwhile, there's another one as well that says, you must have confidence on yourself, on what you can provide and what you can produce. Do not cut short because of other people. What we get to you, we get to you appropriate time. Do not cut short. So, different uh, advices about business. So, maybe David Doe is taking the order and the whiskey is taking the order. Not whiskey is taking the part that said, do not cut short. Stand your ground. Why David Doe is taking the part that, see, I just want to run through this money as fast as possible. You know, so different uh, good business strategy. Well, thank you guys for watching. Support you guys. I'm catch you next time. Peace.